All right, guys, we're going to start this walk around video underneath the car first because I already have it up in the air. But this is a 2007 Mustang GT Premium that is pretty much set up for the track. It's got under 18,000 original miles. And this thing is done up right. It's got lots of mods. So we're going to start off with the wheels and tires. We've got Michelin Pilot Super Sports with Steeda wheels. The uh, wheel studs are ARP extended wheel studs. Uh, and then we have Brembo big brake kit in the front conversion with two piece rotors. And we, we are pretty positive these have ceramic pads. So they are a little bit squeakier, but hey, that's performance for you. And in the front end, nothing too crazy. We just have a front splitter with a uh, tow hook that is mounted directly to the chassis. So that is a functional tow hook. Goes all the way back to here. Uh, these vents are great if you wanna add a brake duct kit. I've seen that often on these cars. So it is, uh, you do have access to that. All right, so for the front suspension, uh, the, the struts themselves, I think they're Takioka or some weird name. I can't really pronounce it that well. Um, but we do have Steeda front cast or camera plates to get that perfect alignment. Stainless steel brake lines, uh, Steeda stabilizer arms. I mean, there's, there's a lot of Steeda stuff on this car. Um, we got a very thick sway bar front and rear. Uh, what else do we got that I'm missing? Well, we see the Brembo brakes. Uh, we did put brand new control arms because the bushings were starting to wear. But yeah, just to give you an idea of everything. Got upgraded engine mounts as well. If I can get a picture of it. You can see those are upgraded. Uh, the exhaust got Cook's long tube headers with the Cook's X-pipe and high flow cats. And the car does pass emissions. We got lower control or uh, lower mounts, I believe. With the spacer kit. Someone really, really spent some money on this car. We got this thick sway bar or stabilizer, stabilizer bar. Can't speak today. If you know uh, exhaust systems, you know Cooks is not on the cheap side of things. Quality is very good on these. And then we have the factory uh, mufflers. So we'll go all the way back here. Get the factory mufflers with chrome tips. Sounds great, not extremely loud, but it does have a really nice tone to it. And then out here at the rear of the car, you got this nice, Cortex diff cover that has these uh, these additions for the mounting of these stabilizer bars. Um, and then we got more Steeda stuff. Sway bar end links. Um, ladder, I guess you would call them ladder bars. You know, I might be wrong on some things, so correct me in the comments. Always love to learn some new stuff. But we do have these trailing arms and coney yellow shocks and suspension the springs uh i believe they are ford racing they ride good of course when you have all this going on you're going to get a lot more uh clunking noise by nature i mean we look how stiff everything's going to be um but yeah and also we have stainless steel brake lines as well back here uh factory calipers in your rear but of course if you know about racing, you know most of your braking is in the front, so these will do this fine. And also have another tow hook. Um, let's lower this thing down. Car's been on the track. It's been it's been enjoyed. We're not gonna say it's been babied. It's been driven. It's been enjoyed. That's how a car should be. So let me lower this thing for us.
Sorry if the video is sideways. Now, if you're not familiar with this color, it is uh, Vista Blue. It's got a really nice metallic flake to it. Then we'll go inside here. Psych, the door's locked. See all the tracks that this thing's been on. Bunch of stickers for you. So it does have Recaro seats and a half cage with the rear seated deletes. I'm not entirely sure what class this is spec for. I'm not huge in the road racing world. It does have a nice shift kit and a white ball shifter. The passenger seat isn't as aggressive as the driver's seat. We have uh, six point Will and the harnesses. <clears throat> we do not have the stock seat belts. They are not being utilized, of course, because all that was removed, the, the little the lock that goes on the stock seats, the buckle lock. Uh, you're gonna have the airbag light on due to that and for the aftermarket seats. But hey, you know what? That's a race car for you. And then we have these nice uh, metal pedals that they changed out. We're gonna lower it some more so we can get a view of the engine. Start it up for you as well. The AC and the radio do still work. It's got a NASA tech approval sticker. And we have hood struts. Aftermarket intake. Not a whole lot done up here, really. Momentum car. Got the nice hook headers. Look at that paint. Sharp color. Got a Skeeta strut tower, and the shocks are adjustable. I have the tool in the center console. See the cage in there? It's pretty neat. We get a little bit of a rev. It is warmed up. <clears throat> right on. So this will end the uh, walk around video of this 07 Mustang GT. If you're curious to see if it's still available, visit our website at azautohunters.com. Or to see what else we have. We always get cool stuff in and out of here all the time. Thanks for watching.